At Comstock, we have a process that works on generation two feedstocks. We are able to convert biomass into more fuel than any known competitor. How do we do this? 20 years ago, we looked into the waste stream of corn ethanol production and we found corn oil, the richest source of carbon in a corn kernel, and it hadn't been recovered. We determined a method to recover this corn oil and convert it into fuel. At Comstock, we're doing essentially the same thing. We're looking at the waste stream once again. The richest source of carbon in lignocellulosic materials is lignin. We determine a method to recover this lignin cleanly, convert it into an ester, and into renewable fuel such as sustainable aviation fuel, renewable gasoline, and diesel. The process is straightforward. We use a separation first approach where we separate lignocellulosic materials into a pulp stream and a lignin stream that we call bioleum. Those materials are processed independently using methods that are most appropriate for each. For the pulp, we enzymatically convert the pulp into sugar and then into ethanol. As for bioleum, we convert it into an ester and then we hydrotreat it using conventional oil refining methods into sustainable aviation fuel, renewable gasoline, and renewable diesel. Our process can use virtually any feedstock. Feedstocks include items like corn stalks, the material remaining after corn harvest, wheat straw, the material remaining after wheat harvest, sugarcane processing waste, forest residues such as slash left in the forest or from sawmills. Many believe that a focus on carbon reduction and greenhouse gases is an expense, but it's not. Applying our technologies to waste streams such as agricultural wet residues creates an incredible economic opportunity for farmers and new jobs. We've worked very hard to get to this point, built an amazing team of technologists to deliver the technologies that we have today. And now we're at the point of commercialization. We're very excited about the future.